So hi everybody, in this lesson we're gonna learn how to look at using ratios to convert units of measure. So suppose this happens to you. You're at the doctor and they just said, your height's 142 centimeters. Wow, you've really grown. And you're like, well, I'm an American, like me, and I don't know how many inches that is. Could you help me? Okay, so how do we go about figuring that out? Well, we need to know a little bit more about that relationship between inches and centimeters. Like, how many inches does it take to make a centimeter? Or is an inch bigger than a centimeter? Or can we go ahead and figure out like how many centimeters does it take to make an inch? You know, what's the relationship? So, and then we need to figure out how we can actually show that relationship between the measurements that we have and the one we want mathematically to get from one to the other. So it's like if we're trying to convert between Korean and English, we need that translator. So there has to be something that tells that translator on our phone what that Hangul typed word you just put in, what it means when it's in English, because the computer just doesn't automatically know someone had to help and put that information in there. And that's our, gonna be our job. So we use these handy dandy conversion tables. So there are some that you should know, like you should know how many inches in a foot, and you should know how many centimeters it takes to make a meter. But if we don't know everything, like I don't know exactly how many centimeters it takes to make one inch, I use conversion tables. So there's different types of conversion tables depending on what you want. But basically a conversion table, all it is is just a table of what we call equivalent ratios. Remember we've talked about equivalent ratios between two different units of measure. Okay, so it tells us one centimeter equals so many inches. Or it may tell us one kilometer equals 1,000 meters. So what do we use the conversion tables for? Well, we go ahead and we figure out what relationship we need that shows us the equivalent ratio that has what we want or that desired unit that we're trying to get in this case when we were talking about our height at the doctor's, we want inches, okay? And then we need to figure out what goes ahead and gives us what we're given, which is centimeters. So here I have a few different examples of some tables. And this one, okay, is talking about lengths. Well, inches and centimeters are both lengths. So if I go ahead and I'm looking at this, I see right here centimeters, inches, and then I have inches, centimeters. So those are two possibilities for maybe what we need. Um, here's one that has some more measurements in it. And it also includes different types of measures other than linear measures. It also has square measures, so for area, but it also tells us um, some metric equivalents between what we call, you know, the U.S. customary system. But it also has some volume ones too. And over here, liquid measures for different um, metric ones. Okay, and then I like baking. And sometimes I need to use this one, okay? It's a conversion chart for the kitchen because sometimes things go wrong and I'm missing some things that I need and I need to have to do some conversions. And then down here it has uh, converting from Celsius to Fahrenheit and Fahrenheit to Celsius. So these are a little more complicated than our, what we're gonna be doing today though. So now let's go ahead and find out your height, okay? So how many inches tall are you? Okay, so we know that we're 142 centimeters, but we wanna know how many inches that is. So our question is, what is your height in inches? Here's a tip for when we read word problems. So one of the things I like to go ahead and do is I wanna read the problem and circle important numbers. So the only number I see over there is 142 centimeters, so is that important? But yeah, because it's how tall you are. So I'm gonna circle that number Color doesn't really matter, but you can also color code. Okay, and then I wanna go ahead and I wanna circle words that tell me what 142 centimeters mean, or 142 means, as I kinda of already said. Well, centimeters tells me the unit for the 142, what I'm measuring it in. And then what is it actually measuring? It's measuring your height, okay? So the height is 142 centimeters. 
Okay, some other things that relate to the question is what is the question? So make sure you go ahead and again, you can color code if you like, but make sure you have an understanding of what is the question you're trying to answer. So I know that when I get an answer, it has to answer the question, what is your height in inches? And so that is important to scripture because inches is really important for this. I need to convert that centimeters to inches. So let's go ahead and look for the conversion that we need. So I'm going to take out my handy dandy conversion chart. And this is going to be available to you via the internet. For my students, it'll be on Google Classroom. So here's my conversion chart. And remember we said there was a couple of candidates here that we may want to go ahead and use. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and highlight them. So I'm looking for a something that tells me an equivalency between inches and centimeters because those are the two units of measure in this problem. Okay, and I see it over here where it says metric to standard. I see it says that we have one centimeter, sorry, too big, but is, okay, decimal point three nine three seven zero. So that means one, two, three, four, five digits after the decimal point would be the same as a hundred thousandths place. So it's 39,370 hundred thousandths inches. And then I also see that under standard to metric, I have one inch is two and five or 2.54, which is not the correct way to say it. We would say it two and 54 hundredths centimeters. So, over here is just the abbreviation of that. Okay, so it's not anything different. It's using the same exact values. So now let's go ahead and figure out how we're gonna do this. Well, we have right now my height in centimeters. We have my height in inches. Okay, and we know that one inch is two and 54 hundredths of a centimeter. And we also know that one centimeter is that 39,370 hundred thousandths inches. Okay, so this is what we know. So we're gonna make a ratio. What do we have right now? We have 142 centimeters to some number of inches. Now in math, we use these things called variables, remember, to tell us we don't know something. So I'm gonna use a variable and I'm gonna use H for height. And I need to go ahead and I need another ratio that I do know the comparison of centimeters and inches to. So I can go ahead and do this. So I know that I need centimeters on top and I need inches on the bottom because this is my height in inches. Okay, so what do we have? So should I go ahead and use the one inch and the two and 54 hundredths centimeters or one centimeter and this one, which is remember in inches? Okay, so the one that you usually wanna use is the one that is your known is a one in it. So we want a unit rate and we're comparing to one, which this could be a unit rate, but we're gonna write it as a ratio. So that's if we're doing centimeters up above and like in the top of this, we are gonna have centimeters here. So I'm gonna use one centimeter and two and 54 hundredths inches. And what I just created is something called a proportion. So let's talk about proportions for a second. So a proportion is a statement that says that two ratios are equal to each other. So a generic format for it is writing them like a fraction is usually how we write a proportion. Okay, so we have a number over a number number, that's our ratio is equivalent to this other ratio over here. So there has to be some common multiple that you can multiply A by to get C and B by to get D. That's what makes it a proportion. 
looking at how do we solve proportions. So there's two methods to solve proportions. One of them is what we call the equivalent fractions method. And the other one is the cross multiplying method. And we'll go ahead and we'll talk about both. Okay, so let's look at the equivalent fractions method first. Okay, so this is what we have. We have 142, and we know that's centimeters over H is equal to 39,370 hundred thousandths inches. Okay, so equivalent fractions method says, well, what do I need to do to get from this number to the other number? Okay, and I have to pick a direction. So I'm gonna go from, pick the direction that gives me the direction of a known number to my unknown. Because remember, I don't know what this is. So I'm gonna pick the direction of going to the left. Okay, so I would say, okay, one, to get to 142, what math can I do to it? And it has to always be multiplying or dividing. Well, I know that I can multiply one times 142 to get 142. So doing that same direction, I have to do whatever you do to the numerator of a fraction, you gotta do to the denominator. So if I had to do one times 142 to get 142, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing. I'm gonna do times 142. So you will be allowed to use a calculator. Most of your teachers will probably allow you to at this point. So you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna take that 39,370 100 thousandths times 142, and what do you get? Okay, so this is what I put in my calculator. And my calculator gave me this value. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna round this. So I'm gonna round it to the nearest tenths place. And so remember when you're rounding, find the place value that you wanna round to, in this case, the tenths place, which is gonna be the digit nine. And then I'm gonna go ahead and look to the right. And if it's less than five, I'm gonna just go ahead and drop everything after the nine. If it's five or more, I'm gonna go ahead and increase that nine by one digit. In this case, it's zero, so I can drop everything after. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing that means approximately, and I get 55 and nine tenths inches. So that means you're about 56 inches and you can also convert that to feet. And we'll do that later. Okay, so let's also get the cross multiplying method and I find the cross multiplying method the easiest one. So I'm gonna put a star next to it because this is Ms. Shannon's preferred method. So we start off with the same proportion. Remember 142 centimeters is how many inches for your height and I used H is the height. And then one centimeter is 39,370 hundred thousandths of an inch. So cross multiplying literally is like it sounds. You crisscross across the equal sign because these are equal, you can do this. And we get one H, which is just to H, right? If you only have one of them, that's what you get. So I'm just gonna write H. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do 142 times that, and we already know that that is 55, and 9,054 10 thousandths, and the units is inches. Then I'm gonna round it to the tenths place so I get that the height is approximately 55 and 9 tenths inches.